Good morning, happy Monday, welcome back to my vlog. I had guys the best weekend it was my friend's wedding down in Killarney and it was all my closest friends from home all my school friends and it was just so nice it's the first time we've all got together in so long with all our other halves and we got to get dressed up and like dance there was a band allowed it was actually just so much fun i went down on thursday we had like some drinks and food the night before then friday was the wedding i'll put in some pictures and then saturday was the brides sarah's and my friend jillian's 30th so we had double 30th so i'm wrecked today like absolutely wrecked we just drive from killarney to dublin yesterday and um, we stopped in limerick said happy birthday to my brother which is today and now today i'm just trying to get back on track i went for a facial this morning got a hydrofacial um and i know I'm, you're not really supposed to wear makeup after a patient i hadn't planned on it but there's some stuff i want to shoot um so i just said i plan a little bit and then let my skin breathe again but guys if you could I'm actually i'll put in a video of what came out of my skin today like all the toxins from pollutions in the air and like dirt like basically it was like the water had literally been turned like brown it's pretty gross uh but I feel so good now after it and it was definitely needed after the weekend to get rid of all of the toxins. I am going to show you some bits I picked up. I have some awesome bits I want to show you which is funny because it's actually so warm today. So I went out a while ago to get a sandwich and I was wearing jeans and a jacket and like I was literally sweating. So I'm a bit premature with the autumn clothes but I know that it's that time of year but that's kind of what we're all looking for. So I'll show you. I, my wedding dress also arrived. Sorry my wedding guest dress also arrived two of them so i'll show you those as well i can't believe they arrived like friday morning i was sickened but um i wore a black dress in the end i actually really really like it um i hadn't worn it before it was kind of a backup dress but it's really comfy and i felt good in it um so yeah i'll show you the other dresses and you can tell me in the comments which one you prefer okay so this is one i love this i love the color it's like a really nice navy i love the neck of it i'll definitely keep this i have another wedding in like two weeks time so i'll keep it for that but isn't it gorgeous? This is the other one that arrived. I actually really like this colour. It's kind of a it's kind of a weird fit though. See the way it's maybe it needs to be pulled down or up or something. I like the slit on the leg too though. Um I feel like it is sitting a small bit low, I'll have to fix that. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? The navy, this kind of purpley blue, or the black? I feel like I have so many weddings coming up. Maybe I'll just keep the other, both of them what do you think on the topic of wedding guest dresses i got this dress from misguided i actually love it the shape it is so flattering i love the cowl neck and the quality of the material is just really really good the shoes are from them also they're like mules so i'll link those which i love this okay this is the suit it's been worn so it's definitely a bit on the grubby side but i love it i love the color love the shape the trousers are just such good quality and the price is so good too so i'll leave the link for those in the description i think the top was pretty low in stock but i will link these or something similar this blazer dress is from misguided too i actually thought about wearing this on night one as well but i decided not to <laughs> i love the color though i think i'll save it for derbla's birthday dinner next week and it's got like buttons here so you are safe and you've got a gorgeous belt on it too I love this blouse top, perfect with a pair of jeans for dinner or with a nice pair of like leather leggings. It's like a nice light pink colour. And then I'm wearing mom jeans, hang on I'll show you in the other mirror of the mom jeans. They're a little bit baggy, probably not my go-to style but I know some people love mom jeans. They're just on me, I don't know if I love them, let me know what you think in the comment box. So this is them, they're, as you can see like they're, the style is to be kind of baggy. But maybe just not with this top. I feel like with like a band tee or something and a blazer that they'd be cute. But yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, I think this is my favourite outfit that I got. I just love an oversized white shirt. And this one's really crisp. Really good quality. And then I've paired it with these faux leather trousers which have a slit at the front. 
I just think it looks so chic. What's an awesome haul without some coats? Got this gorgeous trench style coat. So it looks quite light, but it's actually got like two layers. Really, really nice and heavy. And I love a winter white. I love a white coat. I just think it really dresses up a look. Another thing I love about autumn is knit jumpers. How gorgeous is this one? Just a such good quality. And this is part of their recycled collection too. And then these trousers are full leather again. This could, these could be worn with the, um, the oversized shirt that I had too. But I just like it with the knit for now. But they're so warm, I'm like sweating with these on. I'll show you what they look like in the full length mirror now. Okay, I'm tall and they're full length on me. So they're really good length. And I just love this knit jumper. I know I'm going to get so much wear out of it. I have the sleeves pushed up, but I'll just show you. They're really long. Guys, when we stopped in yesterday to Limerick, my mom gave me a box of brownies and my mom makes the best brownies in the world. So this is going to be a dangerous, dangerous addition to the house this week. I'm going to sit down now and do some work and eat one. Hello, I'm here with Nicole. Hello. We are going for a walk. She's going for dinner in town. So just getting some steps in. Finally left the house. Good morning guys. It is 10 o'clock. It's Tuesday. I am so tired today. Our TV went off in the middle of the night last night. It was so scary. Just glad I wasn't here alone. Like literally at like one o'clock in the morning. It just sounded like there was people in the apartment, but it was the TV that, but I had definitely turned it off. Started watching Something's Gotta Give last night. It was actually very good. But um, we live quite near graveyards, so now I'm like starting to think the apartment's haunted. But anyway, that kind of ruined my night's sleep. Um, I am just doing work here in the apartment this morning. I'm gonna clean up a bit as well. And I have to shoot some stuff today. I have to, of training at, at 12, and I'm going to see Dirty Dancing tonight with my sister in the board. Gosh, it's my first time going to like a musical in years, like since before COVID. So I'm so excited. I got to pick out an outfit for that. Yeah, that's the plan today. Okay, I'm having a bit of a, not a good day, not a good work day. Um, I went to the gym, uh, didn't record. I came back and I was just working and something I've been working on for like over a year. I've been recording all these behind the scenes vlogs and stuff. Um, it's just like taking way longer than it was supposed to. And it's kind of at the stage now where I'm like, is this even ever gonna happen? And it's hard because I've done all the work and it's just like getting it over the line is the, is the problem. Um, so it's really like disappointing, but I don't know, like after, at a certain stage, I suppose with business, you have to make decisions that make sense. And I just don't know how much sense it makes to keep putting time into it this if it's not gonna come out. So I'm really sad about it, but uh, look, that's business at the end of the day. And I have other things that I'm working on. It's just frustrating, you know, and I, it's kind of like demotivating me, but I'm going into town now. I'm going to shoot. I'm shooting with Johnny, um, who I used to shoot with all the time when I like lived in Dublin two years ago in my old house before I moved. And then obviously when I moved, I kind of didn't. And then I came back and it was COVID. So it's my first time shooting with him in ages, which is great. Like it's nice to be able to meet up with a photographer again. So hopefully the weather holds up. It's nice and dry now. So I'm gonna head in now and I'll try and record more for the rest of the day. I'm gonna like get over the mood, you know, just get on with things. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, done one, shoot. Um, that one well, I think. I'm gonna go home now. I have other stuff to film. Um, I'm sweating. It's like 20 degrees outside. I had a full on coat, jumper. I'm wearing leather trousers. I am literally sweating, but um, I feel better now after I'm doing something productive, taking one thing off the list. I'm gonna go get the head down and get a few more things done and today won't have been such a failure. Okay, I'm just getting ready to go to the musical tonight. Um, what time is it now? It's like six, so I gotta be there for seven. I'm just wearing this, what do you call this? Houndstooth print dress. I haven't worn this in ages with a blazer over it. It's actually quite warm out, so kind of fun to be able to wear like autumn bits and not worry about being freezing which is unusual in Ireland but yeah I'm just doing my makeup now and then I'm gonna get ready to go. So I am in the Borgash theatre for the first time in, I uh, when was the last time here? Two years ago. Oh, 
Yeah, probably two years ago. Two years ago, like, it's crazy. So everyone's kind of excited to be here. Well, very excited. Got my program, Dirty Dancing, and I'm just very excited. I we're having a coffee one. After our stressful day at work, we deserve it. <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday. I'm just packing to get ready. I gotta shoot a few bits in town. Um, it's such a nice day today, so even though yesterday was a bit stressful, it's always, it always helps to have a sunny morning to get you started. I'm just having my Baraka after the shoot. I'm going to leave straight for Tipperary. i got to meet Aoife today, who had a newborn there. God, like, at the end of August? What is it now? Yeah, like, I haven't seen her in, like, a long time, so I'm dying to go down and meet her and meet her new little baby and catch up. And then I'm back to my book club, and I'm hoping I'll get back early so I can get a little bit more work done because I'm just falling behind but um, I need to prioritise getting down to her because I haven't seen her so that's kind of where my head's at today um, yeah I'll check in with you in a bit Hello, the shoot went well today, I'm so happy and it's still nice and sunny, I'm like halfway to come in and I'm just stopping to charge the car the supercharging is like the best thing ever it's um, like literally the fastest thing it's, it's charged 70 oh no, I just stopped it Oh no. <laughs> oh, oops. I want to charge a bit more before I leave. Two seconds. Okay, we're back. We're charging. Um, yeah, so that's it. Today went well. Got my photos done. I am going to sit here and do some work and then I'll hit down the road to meet Eva and Penny. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm having a week. I'm just having one of those weeks. It's my third time down to the car park because. First time, I forgot my key to open the car. Second time, I said, oh, my bag must be upstairs. No, nope. third time, I realized, oh, my bag's not upstairs. And I came down to get my camera to vlog for you. I went in to see Eva today. I'll put in a picture of us. Um, it's a long drive, but it was so good to see her. I didn't actually vlog in with her at all because she's just got, had a newborn and so much to catch up on. But I'm so glad I made the journey. It was so good to see her. Like it was really worth giving it the time, you know. Um, but now I'm having some dinner. I ordered a Sprout. And even at that, the first time we ordered it, the driver went off without delivering it. So I had to get on to customer care reorder. I have my salad. It's delicious. It's actually my favourite at the moment. I got chicken satay. It's got like brown rice and stuff in it. And I added bacon and it's so yum. So this is me, I've got an hour before book club at eight. I am having a week where I'm feeling the lack of the self-care time. Like I've, in July, I've kind of stopped writing in my gratitude journal, tried to get back into it, but I'm out of the habit of it now. And I actually do miss like that downtime and you know, the reading was really good for the downtime as well. But now I find like that normal life is returning. It's like another thing I have to do, do you know that kind of way? Um, I don't know if any of, you else, any of you are finding that, like, since a bit of normal life have been coming back. It's just, like, busy. And I'm definitely one of those people who finds it hard to say no to people. Like, I, I, I try and see my friends when they want to see me. And I'll try and, you know, it's my brother's birthday this weekend, so i got to go down to Limerick. And it's just been a lot. It's been a lot of, like, driving and, you know, commitments. A lot of commitments. Um... But I'm not like, I'm not complaining, I'm just feeling it, you know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat my dinner now anyway. I'm gonna watch some YouTube, unwind for a little bit, and then, God, I really have to catch up on work. Like I was, when I stopped to charge, yeah, I was working for a while, but I've, I'm so, I have so much to do. Oh my God, this week is just, it is just one of those weeks. And you know, yesterday I said it on Instagram, and so many of you wrote to me and told me that it was a full moon yesterday. Which explains it so that makes me feel a bit better at least there's a reason and i'm not the only one but yeah <laughs> okay i'm getting all set up here for book club with the ring light it's weird it's dark i haven't done a book club in the dark since like last year it reminds me of when i set it up which was last october so we're nearly at a year um which is crazy great to keep a group of girls together online for a year it's been nice club's done we actually had a really good turnout it was really good with the author on so that was a really nice end to the day i was just about to go for a walk because i literally have sat on my ass all day 
But uh, I was just putting in my AirPods and Mark Ryan, he's gonna join me, which is good, because it's late and it's nice to have a walking buddy. But yeah, that's it, that's my plan. Um, I'm gonna probably stick on the rest of that movie we were watching the other night and then hit the hay. Tomorrow is Derv's birthday. I'm meeting her for a little massage and um, lunch and then, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. That's something to look forward to. She's 30, so I want to make a bit of a big deal of her and I'll bring her down and get her something for her birthday then because I am very unorganized this week and I haven't got it. What kind of a friend am I? But yeah, I'm very excited to see her. It'll be nice to just hang out, have a little bit of a de-stress, unwind, and hang out with her. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. It's sunny again. I'm about to head to the gym. Connor's here for a training sesh. So this is what I'm wearing and um, actually before I go I want to show you some bits I picked up, some like home bits. I meant to show you, they're from Misguided as well, they've started doing home bits but they're actually so fab so I need to show you. So I got this vase, vase, vase and then these artificial kind of plant things and these candles, these like sculpted candles which I just think are so cute. Just really nice decorative bits and they've loads more as well, they've got cushions, bed sheets, all that kind of stuff but I will link these below because I just think these would make a really nice gift as well. <laughs> PT slash delivery, delivery man. man. We just did a quick workout, as nice. you can see. We did like 45 minutes and feeling good, feeling, feeling good. Like we finally recovered from the weekend. <laughs> it only took four days. <laughs> I work out here with my arms lifting and stuff. Okay, I'm ready. The apartment's like a bomb hit it, but got my workout done. Got some work done this morning. I got up super early and got some bits done. Um, I'm drinking my coffee. I'm dressed. I'm wearing kind of like an autumnal outfit today. I've been looking back on old autumn styles and I always love a bit of tartan. Love a nice um, knit jumper. So that was my vibe today. But I just want to thank you so much for watching this vlog and for coming back and for all your comments and stuff. It is so nice to get back into it, even though they're not always, you know, really exciting and it's not always good times. It's, you know, kind of the in-between, the ups, the downs, the daily stresses. I do love sharing them with you and it kind of, I don't know, makes makes me feel like you kind of know what's going on in my life, which is nice. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with another vlog. I promise I'm back in the swing of it now, so I'm going to keep it up. But I hope you're all having a good week and have a good weekend and I will chat to you all soon. Bye guys.